hi guys i hope you guys are well and i hope you guys are staying safe in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you five methods that would help you finish the hem of any garment so in case you're sewing any garments and you're not lining them and you're wondering how best to finish the hem of this garment today's video is absolutely what you need because i'm going to be sharing with you five different methods that would help you finish the hem of any garment and yeah, basically that's what we're going to be doing today. So I've got everything here on the table to assist me with that today. And I'm just going to run through the items that I have on the table. So the first thing I have here is a couple of bias strips. And that's because, you know, obviously that's one of the methods that you can use to finish the hem of any garment. And, you know, these are the ready-made ones. But even if you need to cut out bias from your fabric, I already have a detailed tutorial on how to do that. I'll put a link in the icons above so that you can check it out. The next thing I have here is commonly called the hemming glue or hemming adhesive that's what it's called you know commonly um but yeah it just looks like this clear or well not clear but very light flimsy cobwebby kind of filling and it's usually used to finish the hem of a fabric and i'm of the garment rather and in today's video i'm going to be showing you in details just how to use this to finish the hem of a garment i've also got myself my measuring tape I've got myself some pins, I've got myself my scissors, and I've got myself some fabric to show you the methods. So without further ado, we're going to get right into it. The, the first method that I always recommend to finish the hem of the garment is the serger method, which is going over the hem of the garment with the shirt serger or with the overlocking so it's overlocking machine now if you're like me and your serger has like the embroidery thread um, feature you can see that this is nicely finished and the thread is shiny because it's not the regular thread that's because i use the embroidery th embroidery thread rather excuse me guys okay so this is on the inside of an outfit i don't know if you guys remember when we made this so it's on the inside of an outfit however this can sit on the outside of an outfit as well because it's nicely finished and as you can see it's smooth all the way to the very end so this can also be used on the outside of an outfit in case you're here in the bed street please forgive me it's actually morning here so yeah the beds are tweeting so the number one method to finish your garment like i mentioned earlier is by using a serger or overlocking machine and that way you get a very nice and even finish especially when you make use of the embroidery embroidery thread guys i don't know what's going on embroidery 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 okay so yeah let's go on to number two number two method of finishing your um hem your garment hem is by using your bias strip so in case you don't know how to sew a bias strip i have a detailed video showing you how to show sew a bias strip around the neckline however it's basically the same thing whether you're sewing it around the neckline or you're sewing it you know around the hem is the same exact method or principle so yes the second method you can use to finish off the hem of your garment will be by using bias strips and like i said you can either either cut bias strips from the fabric itself or take the ready-made ones and finish the hem of your garment with the bias strip the third method which i'm not necessarily a fan of but it also works is by using the zigzag stitch or zigzag function of your sewing machine so if you have a sewing machine that has different stitches or decorative stitches or functions it works well to finish the hem of your fabric especially of your garment rather especially when you don't have access to a serger or overlocking machine so as you can see in this one i went ahead to bend the hem and i finished it by using my zigzag stitch and i have this one that is you know really close together and then right here i have the zigzag stitch that is further well you know larger in comparison to the first one so as you can see this is smaller and then this is bigger and so whatever size i wanted i could really adjust my machine and just finish off my stitches and this actually holds up well because on the other side that's what it looks like so it looks pretty decent and then on this side all you need to do is just trim this neatly and you are good it will keep it from fraying and just keep it intact now moving on to method number four. Method number four is going to be um, the common method, which is just hemming your fabric. So I'm going to show you two types of hemming. 
and i know that someone has requested this so this is the right side of this fabric and this is the wrong side of the fabric to locate the wrong side of the fabric i'm just gonna put a quick mark so you guys can follow me and you can see so as you can see i'm now on the wrong side of the fabric to hem this i'm gonna start by hemming it you know by hemming it twice on half an inch in allowance because i don't want it too big so i'm gonna go ahead and do half an inch just like that okay i don't know if you guys can see that i'm gonna zoom it a bit and what you want to do is you want to bend half an inch the first time after you bend half an inch the first time you also want to bend it one more time obviously it would help you to you know take your measurement and measure i'm measuring and i know that that's half an inch so i've done that but i'm going to run over it again so the first thing is you want to bend or fold half an inch in and as you can see this is half an inch and then you want to do that one more time and then this, this gives you a hem. So you want to hold this in place with your, um, your, your pins. And you just want to do this all the way to the end. And trying to check that you're in line with your measurement. It's very important that you check. So guys, after doing this, you go ahead and sew this in place. So I'm going to go ahead and sew this in place. Okay, guys, so after sewing, here's what it looks like. And as you can see, it's even all the way around. And that's what it looks like all through. And this is what it looks like on the reverse side. Now, it's important to say that this kind of, or this hemming method is very easy for me. It comes to me as first nature and it can be used out. It can be made to any size. So whether you want it thinner, if you want it really thin, I'm just going to show you real quick what, you know, thinner would look like. So if you want it real thin, you can have it real thin like that. And if you wanted it big, you can have it real big. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So if you want it real thin, I would usually just sew it as I'm doing it because it's really small and almost impossible to like pin. But you can have it as thin as this. And this works well when you're doing things like chiffon. And if you want it, you know, a lot larger, you can fold in half an inch and then you can also fold in one inch. And obviously, like I said, please be sure to take your measurements to make sure that you are in check. So yes, I've taken the measurement and I'm just going to go ahead and pin this in by sewing half an inch and then one inch. So I didn't sew this all the way to the end. I just wanted to show you guys so that you guys can have a good idea of what we're sewing. So as you can see, this is when I fold it half an inch and then one inch. And right here is when I fold it half an inch and half an inch. And that's what it looks like, both of them. So lastly, the last method we're going to do is when I'm going to show you how to use the hemming glue. And for that, we're going to go over to the ironing board. All right, family, so we're at the ironing board now. I don't know if you see this, but this is my fabric. So I'm just going over to give it a good iron so that I can have it smooth and nice. Um, I zoom in, this is the fabric that we're working with, and I'm just going to give it a good iron. Now, after giving it a good iron, I always advise that you fold it a little bit so that you know what you're working with before you start to put the hemming glue in. So I'm working with this edge and I want to fold it by half an inch and then one inch. Please note that this, my fabric isn't straight. So obviously, um, you know what, I'm going to not give excuses and I'm going to just straighten my fabric real quick. I'm going to straighten my fabric and for this side we're going to be starting with half an inch and then one inch so we're going to be doing our hem with the i mean glue or the hem adhesive so let's go ahead and bend it a little bit so you need your measuring tape to just measure what you're doing this is half an inch before you put the adhesive there so i've measured this is half an inch and i'm sure that i'm fine so i'm going to do that all the way to the end and the reason why you're ironing this first is to keep it in check.
Now, after doing the first iron, because you want it to be one, you're also going to measure that and iron that in place. So yeah, as you can see, I'm measuring with my measuring tape. So because I've been sewing for a little bit, you may not see me measure as often, but trust me guys, I am actually measuring or gauging with my eyes. Now when you have the fold nice and crisp like this, can you guys see how crisp it is? When you have it nice and crisp like that, you are ready. So the first thing you want to do is, you'll notice that this has been made in one inch or to be one inch. So you can see that's one inch. You're gonna cut out what you need or you can just start from here and place this in between like it's a sandwich. That's how you use your heavy glue. You just place this in between like it's, a, like it's a sandwich. Like I said, it's adhesive, so it's got like adhesive properties and it will stick really nicely. So when you've placed it and you're happy with how you've placed it, you can go ahead and just iron this on, okay? You want to make sure you do this in sections because as you can see, this has now stuck and you know, you don't want to tear it open. So you want to make sure that you've done this in sections and you just put your iron on it, just iron over it. So arrange and iron, it's pretty straightforward. Arrange and iron, that's what we're going to be doing. So because of the heat, it's melted. I'm going to just put this from where it stopped and just continue. Okay guys, so at this point it's done now. Um, you can iron it just a little more just to make sure that it's staying. You can iron it on the right side. Now guys, can I just say that this is one of my absolute favorite methods because can you see how clean and crisp it looks on the right side? There are no seams there, nothing is visible, but it's neatly hemmed right so obviously the adhesive just holds it together so i didn't do this place properly but as you can see it's not even lifting on the other sides because it's well done so here is because i didn't glue it you can still see the um, glue right there but as you can see on this side it's not even lifting that's because it's properly done and it's so clean and so crisp and obviously in the same manner this can be done so that it is half an inch as well so what i usually do is when i'm making it half an inch and I need it to be like just really tiny, I can split this in two. So for instance, if I wanted to work, and I'm sure I've done that in one of my videos, I can't remember which one it was, but I remember that I made it so tiny. I just put this in two and I get it, you know, to be really thin. So now it's about half an inch after splitting it in two. Obviously you want to use your paper scissors for that as well. And then you want to go ahead and just, you know, fold the hem in. So like I said, it always helps to iron it first. So I'm assuming I'm just doing this small bit. After giving it a good iron. Just like that. I would now go with the adhesive. And iron it on and this method can be used to take up you know the length of your trousers for instance if you buy trousers or pants that are too long you can just use this method and just take off whatever excess that you have and you can see how that just stays really nicely and you can see the part that I've not done and you can see the right side so guys this is the fifth method and the last step on how to finish the hem of your gametes i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was totally worth it let me know in the comment section if there's any method that i missed out and let me know which method is your absolute favorite which method you'll be trying and which method you're not a fan of i really like to hear from you guys 
all right guys thank you so much for watching this video to the very end i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was worth your while if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave your comment sec your comment suggestions and feedback in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as well thank you guys so much stay safe till next week bye